let's prove the integration of square root of x squared plus a squared dx is a over 2 times square root of x squared plus a squared plus a squared over 2 times natural log of x plus square root of x squared plus a squared plus c. Okay, so let's start like this. So let i, the integral i, I'll call this i, i is equal to integration of square root of x squared plus a squared dx. Now to integrate this, you don't have any formula. So uh, the formula that we're going to use, uh, we're, going to, we're going to integrate this by integration of integration by parts. Okay, so I'm going to write this as, this is the same as writing this as integration of uh, x squared plus a squared times 1 times 1 dx. And I'm going to let this as p of x and this as q dash x yeah, using integration of parts. So I'm going to call this p of x is the square root of x squared plus a squared and q dash x, the gradient function, is equal to 1. So here p of x, p dash x, is here to uh, differentiate this. So using the chain rule, I always like to differentiate the inside. So this is 2x times, this is, this is x squared. So let me write this like this. So this is x squared plus a squared raised to half. So first I integrate the inside and now the outside times half times x squared plus a squared and now you decrease half by one so that's negative half. So p of p dash x the gradient of p of x would be this two and this two gets cancelled so that simplifies to x over square root of x squared plus a squared. Okay, so I need this. So this is the gradient of p of x. And this implies, so can I write here q q of x? Here you have to integrate, so integration of 1 is x. Okay, so using the integration by part formula, so they, I like to write the formula like this. p of x, this is the formula, times q dash x dx is equal to p of x times q of x minus integration of p dash x times q of x dx. So this is the formula for integration by parts. So this is this is i. If you look if if you look this properly, so this is this is I'm going to write instead of writing this whole thing, I'm going to write this as i. The integral i is equal to p of x. Your p of x is square root of x squared plus a squared times q q of x. q of x is x minus the integration of p dash x, which is x over square root of x squared plus a squared times q of x, which is x dx. Okay, so simplifying this further, so I can say i is equal to x times square root of x squared plus a squared minus integration of x squared over square root of x squared plus a squared. Okay, now I'm going to do a trick here. So what can we do? So this is i is equal to, I'm going to write this, uh, this is same, I'm not going to write this again. So this is, this dot means this is same step, minus integration of this, I'm going to write as x squared plus a squared minus a squared over square root of x squared plus a squared dx. So i is equal to the same thing, this theta minus, I'm going to distribute this like this, 
this minus is outside sitting out here. So I'm going to distribute this like this integration of x squared plus a squared x squared plus a squared over square root of x squared plus a squared minus integration of a squared over square root of x squared plus a squared ax. So this is distributed. So we're almost there. So i is equal to, I'll write this again, so which is x times square root of x squared plus a squared. I'm now opening with this minus, opening the bracket, so this is minus integration of square root of x squared plus a squared dx. I should, I want you to look at something which is happening here. What is this? Plus, so this minus and minus makes this plus integration of a squared over square root of x squared plus a squared dx. Now, if you look this proper, if you see this, this is nothing. This is the integration, or this is the integral i. That's what we started with. i we are defining as square root integration of square root of x squared plus a squared dx. So in place of this, I can write i. So I can write i is equal to x times square root of x squared plus a squared minus i plus uh, taking the a squared out. a is a constant plus 1 over square root of x squared plus a squared dx. So this simplifies to, therefore, you can say 2i, adding i to both sides, is equal to x times square root of x squared plus a squared plus a squared times integration of square root of x squared plus a squared dx. Now, the next step, I have already done this. So this is this is where we are leaving. Okay, so this is not the final step. We're almost there. Now we have to only integrate this, fun this function. So for that, this is, I've already worked this out so that I'll, I can go over the steps slowly. So this is, this is what uh, we, this is what we're integrating. We're looking at this how to integrate this function. Okay, now this is this, so this is factoring the a squared out. Now what I've done is I have multiplied the numerator and denominator with 1 over a. The reason is I want to change this into a trig form. So if you, you can multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 over a, so a squared times 1, times 1 over a becomes this a. And now when 1 over a, when it goes inside the radical, you have to square it because uh, because this is outside the square radical or square root. So when it goes inside, you have to multiply by the uh, square of 1 over a. And that's what I have did. That's what I have done. x squared over a squared plus a squared over a squared. So this becomes, this simplifies to a times 1 over 1 plus x squared over a squared. Now this is a good place where you can do a trick substitution because I can see 1 plus 10 squared is 6 squared. So this, so the reason that I divided, I wanted 1 in place of a squared. And that's what I multi, that's why I multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 over a. So this is 1 over x squared over a squared. And I'm letting x squared over a squared as 10 squared theta, which implies x over a is 10 theta. And this implies x is a tan theta. And differentiating both sides, dx by d theta is a 6 squared theta. So in place of dx, I can write a 6 squared theta d theta. So I've, re I've rewritten this again. So this is here again. So a is a and x squared over a squared is 10 squared theta. And your dx is this. dx becomes a 6 squared theta 
d theta. Okay, and square root of 1 plus 10 squared, 1 plus 10 squared is 6 squared, and square root of 6 squared is sec theta. So this sec theta will be cancelled with 1 sec theta. So this is integration of sec theta. Now to explain integration of sec theta, I'll open a new page. In, this is how you do integration of sec theta. So if you, if you want to do the integration of sec theta, you're multiplying both by the, the both the numerator and denominator by sec theta plus tan theta. The reason is, I want to get uh, this numerator, if you look proper, uh, the derivative of sec theta is sec theta times tan theta, and the derivative of tan theta is sec squared theta. So the denominator is f of x, or you can say you can say this is f of theta, not f of x. You can say the denominator is f of theta, and the numerator is f dash theta. Okay, and we have used this formula that uh, integration of f dash x over f of x dx is natural log of f of x. And that's how this integrates uh, integration of sec theta is natural log of sec theta plus tan theta plus c. And this is the formula, this is what I have used if we come back. Okay, so this is what we did. So integration of sec theta is natural log of sec theta plus tan theta. And again, sec theta is square root of 1 plus tan squared theta. And I have let uh, x squared is tan squared theta is x squared over a squared. So this is a squared times natural log of 1 plus x squared over a squared plus x over a. And that simplifies to a, this 1 can be written as a squared over a squared. And that simplifies to x uh, square root of x squared plus a squared over a plus x over a. I hope that is clear. And now divide, the denominators are equal, so you can add the numerators. And now applying the log rule, applying the log rule here, log of a over b, the natural log of a over b, is natural log of a minus natural log of b. Okay, so applying that rule, this is natural log of x plus square root of x squared plus a squared minus natural log of a. Now expanding that further. Now this a is a constant, so this whole thing is an arbitrary constant. So in place of this, I can write a constant because c is an arbitrary constant. Okay, so I can, let me copy this much and paste it here. I'll copy and I want to go in the previous page and I want to paste it here. So paste, here we go. So we can say 2i is this. Okay, so 2i is of course this. Okay, let me uh, move this slightly. Okay, so let me copy this whole thing. Mm. Let me delete this so I can write now 2i is equal to x times because we integ integrated this to get this. So this is x times square root of x squared plus a squared. I'll try to squeeze in here plus this. So now dividing both sides by 2, so your i, your integration, which is integration of x squared square root of x squared plus a squared dx is equal to x over 2 times square root of x squared plus a squared plus a squared over 2 plus a squared over 2 times natural log of x plus square root of x squared plus a squared plus c. Hopefully this video has been helpful.